Hey everyone, this is Prince from Desi Programmer. I welcome back to another exciting video in this React.js series. And in this video, we are going to talk about props in React.js. So I guess you remember that in the last video, we have talked about components. I, I explained to you how components are just JavaScript function. The only difference is that they have to return JSX. And also you see here that this is the way we call them. It's not how we call normal functions, but this is how we call a component, right? So what actually are props? So don't worry, props are nothing new. It's just kind of a fancy name for properties or function parameters. So let's take a step back and let's try to understand what we saw in function in components. So I told you that components are basically JavaScript functions and we just render some JSX from it. Okay, we're returning from JSX, which is rendered. So everything is great. Now, as you can see right here, when I call this particular component multiple times, we get the same data. So obviously it's not something that we want to do. We might want to render component with different data. And as we know, you can send parameters to this function and we can use that value. But hey, this is not the way you call functions normally. Okay. I mean, you call functions something like this is a function and then you pass the here parameters. Okay. Parameter one, parameter two. So this is why whatever you pass to these components, they are not called function parameters. They are called props. Props stand for properties. So let's see how you can pass them. There are a couple of things that we're going to talk about in this video, different ways of passing props and we'll see about prop de default props and prop types. So let's first talk about passing props. The one good way is that, I mean, not good way. One way is that you write, you accept here props, okay, by default. Okay, props is always ex expected by default. So as you I type prop, you see it says component props, okay? So I have this props here. I, I'll go to my particular um, component and here I'm saying that I have a property called name and I'm assigning it a value of, okay, let's, let's not assign this a value of Prince. Let's say it has a value of John. I'll say this, go back, there's no difference. Now I have to come back here and in H1, instead of using Prince, I have to use some JavaScript here. If I use props, it's not going to work because props basically has all the props that we are passing. So it doesn't matter if you're passing no props or if you're passing single prop, or if you're passing multiple prop, it will contain all those props. So I have to basically do something like props dot name. Now, if you save this, go back and you see here we have John, but these all are empty. Why? Well, obviously I'm not passing a name to any of this component, right? Let me erase a couple of them. I want three and I'm good with that. So here, this is one way of passing a prop. We can pass multiple values here. I can, after name, we can pass something like location or you can pass something like is friend or not different values, but this is one way of passing props. Another way of passing props, and I wouldn't even call it a way. It's just that we use destructuring. So now that we, I know I'm going to pass name and location. Let me actually pass location here. Okay. So I'm saying location is equal to um, USA. Okay. Let's save this. And here, instead of using India, I am going to use props dot location, save this. And now we have John from USA, but rest two of them don't have any value or any location, right? So what I want to do here is that instead of using props every time I want to destructure the data that I'm grabbing, right? So I can simply destructure here and now this will be name and location. So what the difference does it make here? Now we don't need to use this props every time you can simply use name and location. This is pretty, this is a JavaScript property. It has nothing to do with react JS, but this is something that is used in most of the tutorials. So I want to show you these two differences and now you have name and location. So this is one simple concept of props. Everything's good here, right? Now there are a couple of things that you might, that you might want to consider. One of them is default prop. Okay. This is my particular um, component and I'm passing name and a location and add friend. Okay. Now, Sometimes you may not get a value. Okay. And you want to give it a default value. Now, one way of doing that is that if you are passing a parameter, we can simply do something like name um, is equal to prints. Now this is a default value. If I say this, if I go back, all of them have a value of prints, which is okay. But since this is JSX, since you're talking about react JS, this is not how we do it. I mean, you can do it, but this is not how you do it. So what we do here is that we go here. Okay. And we say friends cards, this is particular function dot default props. Okay. And now we have a name and I'm saying that my default prop for name will be prints. I'll save this. We'll go back again and we will see we have the same thing. Okay. So if no name is provided, this default props will be used and this particular name will be displayed for everyone. So since I passed John to my first component, I have John, I passed nothing to the rest of the components. I have prints and prints. 
if I go to my second component and if I pass a name, let's say Captain Marvel. Let's save this and now you have Captain Marvel here. So that's one thing. Next part is uh, prop types. So basically when you are passing props, sometimes you may want some prop or you want to restrict a prop to a particular type. So let's say that uh, this particular add friend is here. Okay. Now I want to see, I want this value to be available every time and I want this value to be Boolean. How do you do that? First of all, we need to import something called prop types. You can simply do something like I am PT. And as you can see, it says import prop types, hit enter and this imports prop types from prop types. Okay. Now we are going to use our component, which is friends cards. Then we use a dot and we say prop types. Okay. Z equal to now my prop is first of all, I have to accept a prop here. So I'm saying that I want another prop, which will be is friend. Okay. Now is friend is going to be something that I always want. Okay. So I'm saying is friend is a kind of prop and I want this to be a, I want this to be a prop types dot Boolean. Okay. This has to be a Boolean value and it is required. Now what I want to say here is that this is friend prop is required and it has to be a Boolean value. First of all, I get some issue. Let me see what it is. It says typo in static class property declaration. Like, so basically it has to be a small P not a capital P. Now, as you can see, there is no issue. Okay. So if you save this and if you go back, you see there is no issue. And now you might wonder that, Hey, you just said that this is friend prop is going to be required. It's going to be a Boolean, but we go back. There is no issue. It's rendering usually. So what's this? I mean, what do you, why are you even using it then? Actually, if you go to inspect and if you go to console, okay. And uh, if you refresh it now, now, as you can see, it says, Hey, failed prop type. The prop is friend is marked as required in friends card, but its value is undefined. So basically it will be rendered. It's not going to stop the component from rendering, but you can always go to your console and you can check out the issue. So this will kind of help you so much with debugging if you have any error here. So now I go back to app.js and I'm saying is friend is going to be a prop and I'm saying it has to be true. Now, since I am passing a JavaScript value, I have to pass a JavaScript here. So I'm saying this is true. Save this, go back. And I mean, obviously the error is going to be there because we have two more components, right? So let me just copy this. Okay. And let me just paste it in both of these places. Okay. Let's save it. Let's go back and let's refresh. Now that error won't be here because we have passed the value. Also, if we change the type, for example, instead of passing true, I'm passing 12. If I save this, it says, Hey, invalid prop is friend of type number supplied to friend card expected Boolean. Basically we expect a Boolean and you were passing a number. So in this way, you can make sure that there are less errors in your code, especially when you're working with component. Now, this is everything that I want to talk about in this video. I want to talk about components, props, I want to talk about prop types, and I wanted to pro talk about default props that we are done. Now remember how in one video I talked about conditional rendering with JavaScript. If you want to do something, so as an assignment, you can try to render this particular button depending on is friend value. So if is friend is friend is true, you must so remove friend. And if is friend is false, you must so add friend. You can try to do something. If you can do it, that's good. Even if you can't do it, that's completely fine. Right now we are in the beginning phase, so you will get it eventually. Anyway, that's pretty much it from my side in this video. I'll catch up soon in the next video talking more about coding React.js, Flutter, React Native, Jetpack Compose and well, whatnot.